Distinguished panelists, dear guests, let me start by thanking you all for being here tonight and for allowing me personally to learn more about a topic I'm not very familiar with. I have once been told that you recognize an uh, extroverted insurance specialist as the one who is looking at somebody else's shoes and not his own. <laughs> so I'm sure you, the insurance specialists among you, must be used you know, to hear jokes about insurance being a boring profession, while uh, the tech guys among you uh, must have heard a lot about jokes about nerds. But I can offer you some consolation. You are not alone. We, the Swiss, have the reputation of being both <laughs> boring and nerds. So please, please feel welcome and at home at the Swiss Embassy. While insurance has a centuries-old tradition and prospered in traditional trading nations such as the UK and Switzerland, it is obviously strongly affected by digital change. Switzerland is a high-tech nation with fantastic tech universities, the best in Europe, and we have a bit of financial expertise as well. So I would say, we, in all modesty, we are a very interesting partner for British companies, I believe. InsurTech has become somewhat a buzzword in recent months. When we approached the speakers, we were careful to select experts who are able to offer insights beyond the hype and who can clearly outline what technical solutions they are working on and where they see the industry going. With that, I hand over the floor to you. I'm looking forward to the discussion. Enjoy the evening. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for your kind introduction. Um, we have, uh, we have some fantastic speakers on the panel this evening. Just to, to take you through the format, each of our speakers will give you a, a short presentation outlining their thoughts on their particular area of expertise. Then there'll be a panel discussion with plenty of time at the end uh, for questions and answers. What do you think the Swiss reputation brings in the marketplace of insurance? Um, otherwise, we could be sitting here with a US panel or a a British panel, so, but we're sitting in the Swiss Embassy, so why Switzerland? Interestingly, I think this technology that, that I'm focusing on, the blockchain technology, <coughs> has kind of uh, become a magnet for companies to associate themselves with Switzerland. I don't know whether you are aware of, in Zug, you can go there and pay up to 200 Swiss francs using bitcoins. And I think it's a fascinating move because we need governments, we need the regulatory bodies, to really step up and take those proactive measures. I believe in Switzerland there is that ecosystem where FINMA, for example, is quite supportive. Very recently they uh, allowed XAPO. And I think those are the little steps that you have to take. And we are in constant dialogue with FINMA now, how we can help them shape the uh, regulatory environment. I think Switzerland is not a Bad example, I, I think when it comes to blockchain, Bitcoin, I won't be surprised within Europe, Switzerland leads the way. Stuart, having lived in Switzerland and elsewhere, what, what do you think Switzerland brings? We do a lot of entrepreneurship and we work with entrepreneurs in Switzerland because ETH is one of the most <coughs> renowned universities in the world and we work with a lot of the, the departments from ETH. Simultaneously with Google, Google, that's where Google Maps was invented, we're, we're collaborating also with Google there. So you can, you can actually, the range from the smaller startup idea to Techno Park where you've got medium-sized companies to the Googles of this world, and having that in a city that, that would be an, uh, a neighborhood of London with less than 400,000 inhabitants, that's amazing. You've got a concentration of talent. I would just one thing. I think Switzerland got no natural resources, so that we, that's why we always had to focus on human resources. I think our, our educational system, as we heard, um, is exceptional. We're a small country. Um, we, we need to adapt to many languages from the beginning if we want to go global. That helps. And, and then in the end, it's uh, some, some modesty and trustworthiness, I think, that comes with Switzerland. Thank you to, to the audience for your questions and your contributions. I'd just like to finish by thanking the 
the panel for their contributions and their thoughts. It's been a fascinating evening, so thank you very much to our speakers.